Hi guys, I'm Bryce Sherbach, and welcome to Local Flavors in Brevard, North Carolina. North Cackalac, I think that's what the kids call it these days. In addition to being a fantastic place to ride your mountain bike and your, your road bike if you are so inclined, uh, it's really awesome, it's an active community. There's Greenway Miles, there's over 300 miles of trail between Pisgah National Forest, which is on one side of Brevard, and DuPont State Recreational Forest, which is on the other. Brevard is also home to a lot of breweries. Um, Oscar Blues would be probably the biggest name here in town, but there are a lot of other smaller craft microbrewery operations um, scattered in and around town. It's a small town that embraces the arts. There's festivals galore, there's a farmer's market every Saturday. And if your sense of adventure extends beyond the bike, uh, there's world-class climbing here. There's paddling, there's stand-up paddling. You can obviously hike for hundreds and hundreds of miles in the National Forest and in the State Recreational Forest. So I've got to take you guys on a couple of rides here, three to be exact. Uh, they are all gonna be a bit distinctive. We will explore some of those new progressive and sandy features up on Black and Avery. And I've got a really awesome classic Pisgah ride for you, as well as my personal favorite ride in DuPont State Recreational Forest. Enjoy. What's up guys? I'm at the top of Big Rock in DuPont aptly named um, and I'm gonna use a bit of jargon here so bear with me but it's it's kind of just like a giant big rock that you're gonna ride down uh, the start of this trail is sort of at this fairly famous selfie intersection of Cedar Rock and Big Rock um, and from that intersection you've got a really quick 30 second sort of jog up to the top and from here on out we're gonna drop about 350 feet over the course of three quarters of a mile. It's pretty technical, lots of line options. We can go pretty quickly. I'll kind of shout out some of the options whenever it's necessary at the higher risk spots, but by and large, um, just keep the chin up, really good line of sight in a lot of this stuff, and uh, always kind of keep yourself a bit in control because it is a popular trail in both directions with hikers and mountain bikers. But anyway, yeah, it's threatening to open up here, so we should get started. Okay. So right here, you don't want to stay right at that little tree to fetch you up for this corner. Uh, it is very dry. It hasn't rained here in a while. And so, as a result, there's a lot of sort of sandy, loose dirt in between all the big rock piles. So, threatening to rain, and actually they really could use it little optional line here probably not it's probably faster to stay right there but we're not racing so you can take the fun lines the top part of this trail is a lot of this couple little optional gaps there cracks in the rock all right, we're about to dive into the forest cover. <laughs> Out of control there. Kind of keep those hips loose because that rear wheel is going to want to slide around a little bit on you. Okay, coming up here. So we're gonna take kind of the mid-right line. It'll set us up pretty well. We gap that, and then gap this. Keep it low through this. You are the quintessential Western North Carolina proto tunnel. There you go. Back to Corn Mill Shoals, the best trailhead in DuPont. Thanks a lot. What's up guys? I am in Pisgah National Forest, about to take you on a ride down the Sycamore Cove Trail. It's really close to the entrance of the forest, right down the street from the hub. Uh, Sycamore Cycles, a Pisgah Tavern, and a bunch of other really awesome watering holes and food trucks. Uh, it's a really awesome three mile almost loop, kind of a point to point, but it's nearly a loop. And you can really, what's cool about this trail is it's really fun in and of itself. It makes for a fairly quick ride if you don't have a lot of time or if you're just looking for a quick introduction to Pisgah classic riding. 
uh, loads of roots, loads of rocks, really great dirt. And the other thing I really appreciate about this trail is you can kind of tie it into a few other things. You can take this and connect it via Thrift Cove to Lower Black Mountain. You can take Lower Black Mountain, connect that to Sycamore. It's accessible. It gives you a really good sense of what to expect when you're riding Pisgah. And it's really just one of those things where if you're an expert rider or a pro or whatever you are, you can have a blast. Um, there's nothing that's a really hard commitment here. It's just a lot of fun, good speed, good workout. Let's go. So this trail is about three miles in length. You are gonna climb, even though it's not technically a closed loop, the start and finish are along the same road. There's virtually no difference in elevation between them. This trail goes both ways. We are gonna just ride it clockwise. I haven't ridden it in several years and I don't really remember if there's a better way to do this, but I don't really care though. It's a beautiful evening in Pisgah National Forest and this is just gonna be an awesome ride. Pisgah, synonymous with roto tunnels and roots both of which you find an abundance of here. Kind of a rule of thumb also, if you're not familiar with riding over, comfortable with riding over roots, they, the easy thing to do is to let them kind of push you down the slope, down the camber to the, uh, to the bottom of the roots. And if you can kind of keep yourself high up on them, you'll be all right. We're kind of at the top of the loop, so, I don't think it's going to drop much until we get about halfway down in terms of distance. And that's actually when we'll start losing elevation more quickly. Here we go. This is, I believe, the thing I'm going to start getting steep. Steeper. It's all relative, I guess. More water, don't be surprised. We're gonna have more of that. <laughs> really good line of sight in here. And there we go. Oh, that's awesome entrance to the forest to the left, the rest of the awesome stuff to the right. What's up guys? Uh, I am in the Pisgah National Forest, one of the premier places to ride your bike east of the Mississippi. And I'm gonna follow my friend Andrew Slowey, uh, professional enduro racer and Cane Creek uh, employee. Uh, we're gonna head down the rework section of Upper Black Mountain into Avery Creek. Uh, it's really progressive, quite a few doubles and really creative features. Pretty new style of riding actually here in Pisgah. Um, a lot of what Pisgah is really well known for would be the natural, technical, gnarly stuff. There's probably not a lot of people that are, that are especially thrilled about a more progressively built trail, but it drains well. Uh, Upper Black used to be just kind of a drainage mess full of ruts and just like didn't really make any sense. It was borderline unrideable. Now it's a lot of fun and people that live here and that want to come right here have some features that they can actually learn how to progress on, learn how to hit jumps and doubles. And uh, it's pretty rad. And it doesn't really come at the expense of all that normal, gnarly technical stuff that Pisgah is well known for. So we're gonna go uh, head down black and then we're gonna turn on to Avery. We'll hit some jumps, we'll have some fun. We'll probably hoot and holler, get loose, enjoy. Okay, we got a firm 
do a nice double. Get a little bit of a head here. Pretty good. Super fun. Armor raft rock double there. Got like a something there. I don't know what you call that. Just shut it down for this right a little bit. Good loose dirt. Nice camber. Hold your line on. Yeah, sick. Oh. <laughs> Roto tunnel. That's sick. Pisca, dude. What a what a trail. 